For months, family members haven't been able to hug or touch their loved ones in long term care facilities due to the coronavirus pandemic. But some argue isolation from loved ones, emotional support is just as deadly. 10 Tampa Bay's Candace Avila shares the task force's latest recommendations addressing this dilemma. My husband has a terminal illness. He's not coming out of there, but I'm losing the very best time with him. Today is his best day. You may remember the story making national headlines. Mary Daniel taking a dishwashing job, the only way to see her husband at an assisted living facility during the pandemic. It's just so difficult to understand why I, as a dishwasher, can touch my husband, but when I'm his wife, I can't. That doesn't make any sense. How to allow family members who provide mental health support to safely see loved ones triggered a big debate, with medical experts at odds with others. We may want to compromise. This virus does not compromise. This virus is spread by the breath. I get the, the broadening of the risk, but I'm, I'm concerned about taking mental health out of the equation in terms of essential care. Ultimately, they recommended this solution, allowing family members already included as caretakers in their loved one's long-term care plan to be considered as essential caregivers, allowing them to physically touch their loved ones, and they must wear PPE. But understand, family that is not documented as a caretaker will still be considered a general visitor, and while they can see their loved ones, will have to wait a little longer before they can hug them. People need, need to be able to hold their hand and rub their back and touch them again. I think you will see great improvement in so many people with just the first week or two of those visits, that that value has to be added to this. In addition to solving that issue, here's a sharper insight on the three key conclusions from the recommendations to the governor. Allow visitation in long-term care facilities for essential caregivers and compassionate care visitors. Encourage facilities to allow general resident visitation outdoors and allow indoor visitation if the facility meets certain indicators of low virus risk. Now, each visitation scenario must be accompanied by facility policies and procedures that support all safety rules. The recommendation now goes to the governor's desk for approval.